Well, thank you, um, Marcella and uh, and Marlene for the invitation to present today. Really do appreciate that and and love partnering with Ink Comics. Uh, certainly, we've we've had some uh, great years together and looking forward to helping partners on the line today, uh, learning how to simplify their migration process while also maximizing their profits with Migration Wiz. So that's the title of today's presentation. Thanks for joining. Uh, my name is Adam Bell. I will be your presenter today. I'm channel sales manager for the Americas here at BitTitan, and you've got my contact information there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll certainly do what I can to help. If you have any questions during today's presentation, feel free to put those in the chat and I've got some time earmarked at the end of the presentation today where I'll be able to go over those for you. So uh, please do that. Uh, taking a look at our agenda for today's presentation. So I'm gonna be looking at, you know, what is this cloud now landscape? And I think, <laughs> We all really know what that's about, but um, give you some statistics uh, that, that you might find surprising there as well. Talk about migrations today and how you can add value to your end customer relationships despite the circumstances. And then we're going to talk about why migration was. Why is our product, BitTitan's migration was product even relevant and why should you take a look at it? Um, after we go through that, we'll talk a, for, for a moment on licensing, profitability, give you a, a bit of a product overview in terms of uh, technologies that we have available, and then uh, some support resources, and we'll do some questions at the end. So uh, with that, we'll dive right into it. And uh, I'm starting almost all of my presentations, unfortunately, with this statistic. And uh, you know, this is one that was really shocking to me. This uh, statistic came out about six months after uh, COVID had really uh, run through the United States. And uh, it says that, you know, during the COVID-19 pandemic, 88% of organizations are asking their employees to work remotely. And, you know, that's a staggering statistic. And, but it's the reality that we're all living in. And so, What's our role in that? Uh, those of us in the IT community, how can we enable our end customers, our, our businesses down the street, how can we keep them afloat during this pandemic? And, and it's with the right technology. And as you know, this, this uh, work from home initiative is really, it's causing everyone to be in a 100% cloud now world. Uh, now more than ever, we're having to rely on cloud technologies to do the work that we're doing, you know, connecting over Teams meetings to do webinars instead of doing live events. Uh, these are all signs of this cloud reliance that we're all dependent on. And then resultantly, <clears throat> all of these businesses are trying to figure out how do they enable work from home? They need to migrate. They need to get off of their on-premise solutions and over to the cloud. We're seeing a mass exodus from on-prem solutions and over to the cloud. And so now, your customers need to rely on your expertise to be able to guide them through this process. And, you know, these customers' businesses have gone through enough disruption as it is with COVID-19. They can't afford any more disruption to their business continuity. So they need your help in helping them through this transition, transitional process. And, you know, a, a quote I heard recently I thought was uh, re really apt for what's going on right now is, you know, the companies that are going to survive the pandemic and win are those that are able to exhibit digital dexterity, i.e. moving to the cloud. Uh, so how can you help your customers survive right now? So we're going to talk about that. Um, and, and one of the things I wanted to look at is Right now, I think that there's actually still a significant opportunity for you to add value to your customer relationship despite the circumstances. You know, and uh, I think it's still the three core areas of relationships, services, and impact. And, you know, relationships are difficult right now where, where masks are required and social distancing and all of these other things. But um, with our tools and technology, you're still able to perform the service of migrating them over to uh, Microsoft 365 without ever having to go on site. And so you're, you're able to still connect with your customer in a relationship, deliver a service at a, at a high value, and that's going to create an impact that's going to be lasting and long term so that 
their experience is going to be so positive, you can still win a long lasting customer right now with your ability to get them to the cloud and do it reliably. So, um, you know, there's a, a lot of analogies I like to, to give at this point, but, you know, we have to recognize that, you know, with 88% of organizations asking their employees to work remotely, that is 88% more opportunity for you. And so, how are you responding to that? And this is not a, an instance where we're trying to um, uh, be greedy and 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 uh, take advantage of the the circumstances. This is an opportunity for us to really come alongside these businesses that would otherwise go out of business if we can't help them move them to the cloud. So, uh, really encourage you to look at this as an opportunity to add value to your relationship with your customers. Um, through uh, your, your services that you're offering to them today still should be a very, very critical focus um, because uh, people are 17 times more likely to leave a uh, bad review than they are a positive one. So right now, more than ever, we've got to fight for delivering a high quality service and we can help you do that. So uh, let's talk for a minute about how. So. Just a quick bit on who BitTitan is. Uh, you know, BitTitan's been around for over 14 years now, and we're doing business in 188 different countries. We've moved over 22 million users to the cloud during that time period, and we have over 45,000 technology partners like you uh, that are a part of the BitTitan family. So, uh, where did we start? Uh, we really started 14 years ago, just migrating mailboxes uh, from on-prem solutions over to the cloud. And then we started to branch out and add more workloads over time. So documents, personal archives, public folders, we configure Outlook profiles. We do Teams migration, SharePoint migration, uh, hybrid exchange management. There's a lot of things that we do. Um, so that's really our expertise. And uh, if you're ever at a large industry tech event, uh, we like to show up loud and in bright colors. So whenever those are open again, um, You'll you'll find us in uh, some bright color shirts, whether they're pot pink or purple or blue. Uh, just come and say hello. Uh, we'll be glad. I think we all will for uh, for that change in circumstances. So hopefully when they open things back up, uh, you'll be able to uh, swing by and say hello. So. Why migration was and this is really where I wanted to uh, just relay to you why are some of the top partners leveraging our automation? And so let's talk about that. Why do you even need an automated migration tool? And you know, the reality is, uh, for those of you who are familiar with doing migrations, migrating customer data, mailboxes, documents and archives, et cetera, uh, if, you're, if you're used to doing that manually, you know uh, it takes a lot of time. There are a lot of very repetitive steps and so unfortunately, it's very prone to human error, right? If you uh, press a wrong key or accidentally you know, delete a file, uh, that migration project is compromised and you may have just lost a customer over it. So you know, in today's environment, there are more and more complex migration scenarios, different source destination combinations, and it's hard to keep track of all of these changes and updates and new steps and new requirements. And so uh, manual migrations are difficult. They're time consuming. And uh, most importantly, and I think the, the most difficult hurdle for you is they don't scale well. Um, because they take so much time to do, you can't take on more projects when you have a lot of migration projects if you're doing them manually. And I think the next step that a lot of partners will do is they'll, you know, they've they've done some manual migrations and they think, oh, there's got to be a better way to do this than what we're doing today. And so then they go out and they try some free tools out there. And, you know, Microsoft does have some free tools and hey, a free tool is better than no tool. I, I won't argue that, um, but it's still not going to help you handle the scale and complexity of the projects that you have today. It's not going to support every source destination that you need. And you know, the example I like to give here is, uh, you know, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with IKEA. Uh, they're the uh, the Swedish furniture manufacturer where everything you buy comes flat packed. You carry it out under your arm in a bunch of boxes, 
and then you get the joy and the pleasure of putting that furniture together yourself, doing the assembly. It's very much required. Um, so, but they give you a free tool to do that. They give you that one little free Allen wrench to put your your new dresser, your new wardrobe together. And you know, when you I've I'm half Swedish, so I, I have to go to IKEA. I've also got four kids, so I'm going all the time to buy new furniture for my kids. And uh, I've learned my lesson. Uh, that little Allen wrench, it still takes forever to put together. It'll take you two hours to put together a, a wardrobe. But if I bring automation to the process, if I bring my power drill with the right uh, head attached to it, I can knock out that wardrobe in 15 minutes instead of two hours. So in a very similar kind of way, uh, BitTitan is going to add automation to that manual migration process. Uh, it's like bringing a power tool to that job. You need a professional tool to do a professional job. So we can help you do that. So why migration with? You know, there are other tools out there, but uh, why migration with? Well, uh, BitTitan started, like I said, over 14 years ago, and we hold a patent for the, the way that we do our migrations. We were the very first to do cloud uh, data migration, so our process is inherently unique and different, and we think better. Um, it's very, very easy to use. As uh, part of my onboarding at BitTitan, I had to successfully complete a handful of migrations with no oversight, and I'm not technical. I'm much more in the sales and marketing field, and I was able to complete three migrations without any assistance. So we really do a me mean what we say when we say it's it's an, uh, it's a 100% SaaS tool with no special training or professional certifications required. You'll be able to pick this up and follow our very easy to use UI. It's one UI that you can use to complete all of these different workloads, whether it's a mail migration, a SharePoint migration, a OneDrive migration, a Teams migration, it's the same tool following the same set of steps and processes. So makes it very easy for you to scale across your projects. It's also very fast. So uh, we spin up, uh, I should take a step back, BitTitan's migration was actually is 100% runs on Azure. So every time you start a new project, we're going to spin up a new Azure instance for you. There, you do not have to pay for Azure consumption or um, be an Azure expert at all to, to use our product. We take care of that for you, and that's all accounted for in the licensing of our product. And so every time you start a, a new mailbox migration, we're going to spin up new Azure instances for you to be able to knock out that project as quickly as we can and we can spin up multiple concurrently for the same project to make sure that we knock it out quickly. So we can migrate over two terabytes of data in a day. So uh, most of the time for these SMB projects that you find yourself with, uh, you can run these overnight and have no problem coming in the next day and they'll be done. So it's also very secure and compliant. Like I just said a moment ago, uh, our entire tool is built and running runs in Azure. And so it also inherently meets uh, all of the compliances that you may need around uh, healthcare, government, um, all of the uh, data security requirements around that. It's military uh, grade encrypted as data is uh, both in motion and at rest. So it's fully encrypted and um, very, very, very secure. So we have done migrations for governments, for uh, law offices, healthcare. Uh, and the like. And then it, it's also capable of enterprise grade projects. It's, it's easy enough to use and simple enough that you can pick it up and get a lot of value out of it, even if you're just migrating five users, but it can also, it has the options and the flexibility for you to handle complex enterprise grade projects that are 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 users in size. So it can uh, scale up very well with whatever size project you need. And then here are some of the differences about uh, migration with. It's easy, secure, and fast. Um, easiest migration experience we think out there, we've got great guided tools inside of our UI. Just punch in the source destination project you wanna work on and we'll get you started right away. Uh, it's trusted by over 45,000 partners around the globe. 
Um, they've come out and picked the tool that works for them. And once you try BitTitan, you stay with BitTitan. It's just such a great, reliable tool. And then we have such great and accessible documentation and support. Uh, we will support you along the way. And it's a single solution for a variety of workloads. You don't have to worry about what free tool am I going to use for this and what free tool am I going to use for that and what paid tool am I using for this that doesn't work for that. This is one tool that's going to work for all of your projects uh, that you have to move your clients to Microsoft 365. But I'm paid to tell you all of that. Don't just take my word for it. Um, our customers have spoken. Um, if you're familiar with Gartner Peer Insights, Gartner uh, Peer Insights is a place where partners like yourself can go out and vote on the tools and solutions that they use. And we have the most and the best reviews of any migration vendor on the market, and it's not even close. Um, we've got over 300, 350 partners that have come out and voted on our technology. And, you know, like I mentioned earlier, people being 17 times more likely to leave a negative review than a positive one. We are very proud of the fact that we are averaging 4.7 out of five stars with uh, with our partners and the bulk of those being five star reviews. So um, go out, take a look at them. Uh, you can read them for yourself. These are real partners just like you that have gone out and, and voted on the, the tool that they use and that they prefer. And then here's just a quick snapshot of sources and destinations. I've mentioned that a lot. Just wanted to give that to you so that you could see it here on the screen. There actually are even more sources and destinations than we support that are on here. These are just the most common ones that people ask about. So I put these on the screen uh, there. We actually support so many sources and destinations. It gets a little silly to put it on a slide. They get so small you can't see it. But um, yeah, when it comes to migrating mailboxes, we actually go all the way back to Exchange 2003 and up. We'll migrate whether it's on prem or hosted Exchange, um, Gmail, IMAP, POP, uh, Zimbra, um, Lotus Notes, you know, we, we really migrate uh, everything over to uh, uh, Office or Microsoft 365. And then documents, uh, a document source being something like OneDrive, SharePoint, Google Drive, Dropbox, just a Windows file share. Uh, those are all uh, sources and destinations that we support, uh, as well as uh, more recently, we've seen, you know, with the proliferation of Teams, you know, Teams adoption has, you know, it seems like every month it almost doubles again the number of daily active users on Teams. So we're, we are seeing a massive spike in uh, Teams migration projects, and uh, I'm sure that you're going to be seeing those as well. Um, so speaking of that, you know, what BitTitan allows you to do is to maximize your migration service opportunity and migrate all of the relevant workloads to Microsoft 365. So uh, these are just kind of a quick uh, snapshot of some of the bits that we migrate over. We do do even more than what you see on here. Just wanted to kind of encapsulate some of the, the primary things that, that people like to ask about. But yeah, Exchange, Outlook, OneDrive, SharePoint, Teams, uh, We'll migrate all of that for you. We have the licensing to enable you to do that. Uh, one of the big ones on here that I think is a, is a real wow factor for clients is actually the Outlook profile configuration. That's another very manual time consuming process that without this tool, you'd have to physically go from machine to machine, device to device to configure the user's Outlook. And you're able to do that remotely and automatedly with our uh, Outlook configuration tool called Deployment Pro. So really quick, going to take a quick shift into uh, showing you the license, the licenses that we have available. And then I want to talk to you about profitability. You know, uh, this all sounds great. There's this automated technology, but uh, how much does it cost and what does it do? And how can I take advantage of it to make my business grow? So that's what we're going to be talking about right now. So First, a uh, quick bit on the licensing. These are our uh, six most common licenses. Uh, number one, first and foremost by far, is that user migration bundle. It, user migration bundle. It is tagged most popular for a reason. Um, it accounts for anywhere between 80 to 90% of our license sales on a given month, just because it does so many different things. 
Um, the MSRP on that license is $15, and you would purchase one license to migrate uh, one user's data. So all of these are, we use a license model. So uh, licenses are purchased up front per mailbox or user that's going to be migrated, and the licenses last 12 months from the date of purchase before they expire. Now, licenses are consumed on use and they're not reusable on another project. So, uh, quick example, if you needed to migrate 50 users from Exchange on-prem over to Microsoft 365, you would need to purchase 50 licenses of maybe the user migration bundle uh, to make that happen. You'd purchase those licenses, you'd assign them to that project, and you'd migrate that data. Let's say a few weeks later you have another project, that one's for 100 users. You'd need to provision another 100 user migration bundle licenses, assign them to that project, to those users, and migrate the data over. So that's our licensing model really quickly, but uh, I think all of the descriptions here are pretty self-explanatory in terms of what they migrate. Uh, the, the one I will give you a quick difference on as to when to use the user migration bundle and when to use just the migration with mailbox. Uh, both obviously migrate the mailbox data, but the, uh, the big, big difference is migration with mailbox is only going to you move the mailbox data. So the mail, you know, calendars and contacts associated with that mailbox. So Typically, the only time we see people buying the migration with mailbox license is if they don't need to configure an Outlook profile and they're only moving the mail calendar and context. There's no other user data tied to that account. So think shared mailboxes or resource mailboxes. That's when you purchase just the migration with mailbox. Save yourself a couple of dollars and purchase that. Otherwise, it's going to be the user migration bundle. And a big part of why that user migration bundle for just a couple dollars more than that migration with mailbox license allows you to move everything you see here over to Microsoft 365. So this is one license that you purchase that allows you to do all of these projects. And what's very important to understand is when you purchase BitTitan, you are not buying a license that you resell to your customer. This is a tool that you use to perform a service for your customer. And so you should be charging for and billing your customer for a service, not marking up our licensing to resell to them. That is a really quick area where you can make significantly more money for your projects. You know, MSRP on, these, on this user migration bundle, like I said, is $15 USD. Don't buy that and add, you know, with your discounted rate in, in comics and sell it back to them for $14 and change. Uh, you'll be cutting yourself well short of what you could be earning for these projects. We typically see partners charging, and this is in USD, anywhere from $50 to $100 per user that they migrate. So consider mo uh, moving to a model where you're charging per user that you migrate. Uh, you can either charge them project-based like that or uh, if you want, if you're offering them kind of all up managed services where you have a lot of other service offerings, you're doing help desk support for them, you have other ongoing recurring revenue with them, consider bundling your migration charge into a monthly rate for them. That way, uh, they're, they're paying for a migration service. Uh, hey, if they were your customer two years ago and you ha tacked that on then, you're still going to be earning revenue from it today. So it's a great way to to lump that in and, and get some recurring revenue even off your migration services. So one license, four projects, very valuable. And I wanna talk for a moment about the business value to you. Uh, I'd, I'd rather spend more time here than focusing specifically on you know, the technology speeds and feeds of what BitTitan does uh, and how it moves the data, but really how it's going to impact your business as you leverage us to automate your migration process. First and foremost, it's speed, time. It's our most valuable commodity and our most valuable asset, right? So what BitTitan enables you to do is, you know, a typical 100 user project would take anywhere between 25 and 50 hours to complete manually, depending on project complexity. 
With BitTitan, we cut the time it takes to complete a project down to one tenth of the time it takes to complete it manually. Think about that for a second. That means instead of 25 to 50 hours, that project now takes two and a half to five hours. And you can still charge the same amount that you were before when you were doing it manually. Your profitability just went way up, right? So um, speed is a, is a phenomenal value to you. It also helps you scale. You can start doing more projects with the same resources you have in place today. And then also it's very secure. This is a, this is a tool that's trusted by government agencies around the globe to migrate the data. So um, you can trust that when, when you're migrating your data with BitTitan, it's gonna be done securely and compliantly. You know, those 22 million users we've moved over the years, we have never lost a file and we've never deleted a file. Because when we migrate data, we only copy and paste data. So there's never any risk of data being deleted in any way. And then we have a very simple pricing model. Uh, you don't have to worry, there's no hidden costs, no hidden fees. Uh, you purchase your licensing, you automate your project, you bill your customer. Um, so it's a very simple and easy way for you to, to be able to set up your, uh, your project costs and determine your profitability. So we're gonna take a quick look at that right now. Uh, I touched a, a minute ago about that 90% reduction in time. That is a really critical piece to understanding uh, how we're gonna help you maximize your profitability on these projects. So taking a quick look at that first column, the green that you see there, <clears throat> that would be your cost of goods or COGS as some people call it, uh, of delivering services today. That's if you're doing migrations manually. Uh, you have to put uh, one of your higher paid resources on those projects and it takes them a lot of time. So your hard costs, your labor costs to complete that project are going to be significant. Well, when you purchase BitTitan, and that time goes way down. Now there, you can actually put a junior level tech on the project, uh, who's, which saves you even more money. And it only takes them you know, two and a half to five hours on that 100 user project instead of 25 to 50 hours manually. Now your profit margin just went way up, right? Because we're in that middle column now where your, uh, your profitability goes up because the time it takes you to complete the project just went way down. The cost of the tools are minimal and the, you can continue to charge the same rate per user, per mailbox or per project like you were before. And then this last column, this one kind of seems counterintuitive. It says, hey, like where, where did my margin go? What's, the, what's happening there? Um, because you can get some very uh, massive margins instead of your five to 30% when it goes up to 50 to 300% uh, using BitTitan. Um, you know, you're, you're saying to yourself, well, hey, what's this last one about, about scale, but my, my margins are disappearing. So uh, what I want to explain to you here is uh, you actually have built-in flexibility uh, that's going to enable you to scale your business and, also, and, and win more business. And if you are competing with another IT shop down the street, you're both bidding for the same project, you're using BitTitan, they're doing migrations manually. We recognize that, hey, migrations is not the only component of the overall project that you're bidding on, right? You're selling them maybe some new hardware, you're doing networking, security, and all of these other things, right? Well, migration service is a component to that overall overhaul to Microsoft 365 for that project that you're bidding on. And Maybe you get the sense that this is a really tight and competitive bid between you and your competition down the street. You might say to yourself, hey, instead of getting 300% margin on this project, maybe I'll knock it down to 75%. Uh, and my overall bid is gonna come in under my competition down the street. I'm still highly profitable, 75% margin on a project. And you're able to, to grab that project over your competition. And once you get it, you're able to complete it faster and get on to the next one. That's how BitTitan can help you and your business scale and do more with the same resources that you have today. So gonna take a quick uh, detour from there, talk about our technology and 
how we automate the migration process for partners. And uh, I think my favorite tool to talk about here is actually we have assessments that are free. Uh, our, my favorite one is the health check for Microsoft 365. This is a free assessment that we recommend that you run for every single migration project that you have before it's even a project. If you're just talking with a customer, uh, this is a great thing to run even for prospects where you don't have a contract with them yet, but they're asking, they're consulting you for a move to Microsoft 365. You can say, hey, let me come in and run an assessment and determine your overall migration readiness to Microsoft 365 and map out a migration plan for you. This is a free tool, no purchase required, uh, and you are able to run that assessment as many times as you like for the customer. You could run it before and after um, you do the project, but this is also a great way to eliminate a migration headache before it happens. We've all been in the middle of a project and it doesn't go right. Uh, whether that's a home project or a technology project. And uh, it's always nice uh, if you have something that you can do ahead of time that will eliminate those problems. And uh, our, our assessment tool is definitely one of those things you can do to eliminate a migration headache before it happens. So run that every time. It's free and it's very valuable. Once you've done the assessment, that's when you leverage uh, the licensing that you've purchased and begin moving workloads with Migration Wiz. We've got a very easy to use UI where you can see all of the different migration projects that you have going on. You can run multiple migrations concurrently. So you could have 15, 20, 100, 1,000 different <laughs> projects going on at once. Doesn't matter to us when you purchase licensing and you click go, we start spinning up Azure instances for you and start migrating the data. It's also leveraging modern authentication, so it's very secure. Uh, and we allow uh, migration collaboration as well uh, and project sharing. So if you have multiple engineers that work for you and, and you'd like to set up a work group for them and have your licensing all in uh, one centralized place, you're able to do that. And you're also able to assign out projects to engineers, check on status, updates and things like that. So if uh, tech was working on a project and you see, oh, they're they're out sick today, you could come in as the project manager, get a bird's eye view of what's going on with the project and workload balance that. Send it over to another one of your techs with available time and let them start working on the project. So um, that's the kind of uh, collaboration you're able to do, have multiple users with their own unique BitTitan logins, log into a unified company account and be able to view and access and work on projects together. Uh, we're also, uh, the tool is very flexible. So whatever your migration methodology is, whether you like to do quick switch, you know, big bang or staged migrations, uh, our tool can handle any of those migration philosophies. So whichever one's your preference, uh, you, can, you can do that. Uh, we typically do recommend a staged migration. Uh, it's just, Flat out, it's going to be the best and uh, most successful and reliable migration experience you can have. But hey, not every uh, circumstance is uh, conducive for a staged migration. You may have a customer who has a dying exchange server and you need to get them off now. Uh, so do a big bang and get them moved over as fast as possible. And uh, then you can sort out anything that happened afterwards because you don't want to risk that server dying during the middle of the project. Speed is more important at that point than anything else. So uh, you have that capability. And then, um, you know, there's the, the, the ability to do, like I said, concurrent migrations. So we'll scale up and do as many projects as you have at once. Uh, we can do uh, whatever you need, and it's all done remotely. You don't have to go on site. You can access because uh, BitTitan is run in a, in a web-based client. Anywhere you have connection to the internet, you could pull up your smartphone, your laptop, tablet, and check on the status of a migration, execute a migration, start, stop a migration. Uh, whatever you need to do, you can do it from our, our user interface. So. After you've run your assessment, you've used your migration with technology to migrate the workloads uh, over to Microsoft 365. You can wrap up that experience by automatically automating the Outlook configuration with Deployment Pro. 
this is kind of that wow moment of uh, it's like that tech magic um, that happens that uh, I think really the best compliment that you can get after a migration is completed. You know, if you made a commitment to your, your customer and said, hey, we're going to start your migration Friday night, you'll come in Monday morning and you'll be live on Microsoft 365. We'll have migrated everything over for you. We'll have moved your uh, mailboxes from hosted Exchange 2007 over to Microsoft 365. We'll have moved your uh, Dropbox data over to uh, OneDrive. We'll have mapped over your file share over to SharePoint, and uh, we're going to configure your Outlook. And they hop onto their um, email systems, and they look and they say, hey, Monday morning, the client says, what did you what did you do? Doesn't look like you did anything. That's the best compliment you can get, because what that means is their Outlook profile, that experience that they're used to day in and day out when they log in, their file and their folder structure, their signatures, their autocompletes. You know, if there was a PST file associated with that user, we can map that over and, and apply it to them so that when they log in, everything is right where they left it and now they're just on microsoft 365 so um, that's the kind of experience you can deliver with deployment pro this is that tool that is included in the user migration bundle and it allows you to do this 100 percent remotely configure those users desktops doesn't matter where they are geographically um, you can you can use this tool and configure their desktops so Really, really great tool, great resource. Uh, Want to wrap up here with a couple of things, just touch on the support we offer and some additional resources to help you get started. Really quickly, customer success. We take this as a very important thing. That's why uh, our customer support is available 24-7, 365. We guarantee a same-day response, and we have over a 95% customer satisfaction with our support. So our support is, uh, our, we have free support that's available over email, uh, and we also have premium phone support available if you'd like to pay for that. I, I would, I'm gonna let you know, uh, we hardly have any partners that leverage our paid phone support unless it's an enterprise grade project. Uh, sometimes some questions pop up for those. Otherwise, our migration guide, our tutorials and some of the other things we do from a customer enablement that I'm about to talk about um, make it so that hey, if you got a quick question, fire off a quick email, get a quick answer, and then you're back on your way with your project. So take advantage of our free support. Uh, you can ask a question anytime, whether you've purchased licensing or not. Um, and then we have a vast library of knowledge base articles, over a thousand different articles. Um, we have over 90 different migration guides supporting every single source and destination that we support. So uh, whether you're migrating from, uh, you know, GoDaddy to Microsoft 365 or an IMAP or a POP or Lotus Notes or whatever it is, we have a very specific migration guide for the exact source destination combination that you're trying to run. So just take a look at the guide and we'll give you a step-by-step -step process of what you need to do. So no steps, steps are missed. Then we also have an in-product guided assistance tool. And this is one of my favorites. Uh, we call it Walk Me. And uh, once you're in the tool, you can just go to the help button, click that, click guided tutorial. And if you type, it'll ask you what type of project you're doing. If you're doing a mailbox migration project, it'll ask you what's the source and destination once you put it in. Uh, it's, it's like having somebody standing over your shoulder and saying, oh, you're doing a uh, tenant to tenant migration. M365 to M365, great. Uh, start by clicking here, click mailbox project. Uh, an icon will pop up over our uh, mailbox button and say, click here. So then you click there and then it says, it'll pop up again and say, type in the name of your project, right? It's this guided tutorial that's gonna take you through and tell you where to click, what information to input every step of the way. So very popular, very easy to learn the migration process, learn the tool with that kind of guided assistance. So uh, take advantage of all of the support that we offer you. 
And then also, uh, as I'm sure if you're not aware already, I did want to touch on some ways that, hey, unfortunately, COVID is impacting us and the migration business as well um, from throttling. And the reality is, is that all of the major providers, whether it's Microsoft or Google, uh, they are throttling data during peak business hours. Uh, and that's just from that spike in demand, everyone trying to move to the cloud, they weren't quite ready for it, understandably. And so they're having to throttle data speed. So best times to do a migration are going to be nights and weekends, just from a speed perspective. Um, <clears throat> be upfront with that with your customer, let them know. I think they'll really appreciate it if you let them know about this throttling, uh, that will help build relationship, especially even if you're just in the prospect stage where they're not a customer. Your command of the environment and the situation and what's going on, they'll really appreciate that. So make sure you're having that conversation as much as you can do your migrations on the evenings and the weekends to avoid the, the throttling. And then some quick advice for today's migration. So uh, always start with planning, right? Um, start in the bottom left here. Uh, always you know, plan, map out, do an assessment, use our free tool. Uh, health check for Microsoft 365, avoid the throttling, pick a time, schedule it during non-peak hours, run a POC, uh, create a POC account and, and check and make sure that, uh, you know, migrate a mailbox or two first before you commit to doing everything and make sure that you feel comfortable and confident in your project and your plan and that it's going to work, then uh, execute on it. Right, so continue to do these same things and you'll have successful projects. So a couple of resources to help you get started. Um, I'd recommend if you've never used this before, um, we've got a video there to help you get started. It'll walk you through how to create a BitTitan account um, and how to access your licensing, how to start a project and how to access the self-help within the tool, whether that's that guided tutorial I was talking to you about or even how to go and, and look at our knowledge base articles. Uh, I'd also recommend that you fill out, there's a short survey. Uh, it's, I think, three questions. <laughs> and uh, if you fill that out, drop in your information, uh, we'll actually give you two free user migration bundle licenses to try. So uh, definitely take advantage of that. Try it. Let us know what you think. If you've got questions, uh, even with those free licenses you receive, you can contact support and they'll help you out. So. Uh, try the licenses, fill out the survey, uh, look at the KB articles and get familiar with it. And then, you know, go ahead and register for an account. It's free, doesn't cost anything. There's no commitments. Uh, all you do is put in an email and a, uh, and a username and, you, and a password and you'll have a BitTitan account. So that's it, guys. Uh, like I said, wanted to give you a quick flyover on how we could simplify your migration projects and help maximize your profits during those. So thank you for uh, that time and opportunity today. I will open it up for some questions now. So uh, if anyone has some questions, please feel free to either put them in the chat or uh, Marcella, if you want to read them out loud, that's fine too. Great, Adam. Marlene Novo here. Uh, yes, we do have more questions in the chat. Um, do you have tech support in Spanish? <laughs> so uh, our we, we do have Spanish speaking uh, resources in tech support. Uh, I can't guarantee that when you contact support, you'll immediately get one back in uh, in Spanish. But uh, we do have Spanish speaking resources that can certainly uh, assist you with your project. Absolutely. Very good, thank you. From a partner in Peru, Adam. And okay. they are looking for uh, a PAR number from the Titan uh, only to migrate SharePoint. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So we have, that's actually a new license type that we have and it's called our shared document license. And it migrates uh, data from SharePoint online to SharePoint uh, online. So uh, I can, Marlene, I can connect with you afterwards and get you the, the okay. information for that. But it's a it's a new new product, new SKU that ah, okay. just came out um, just very recently. Um, okay. So uh, so that's great that uh, that they're already aware of it. But uh, it's it's one of those 
um, things, I'll, I'll just talk for a minute on this briefly. So we've actually always supported migrating data over to SharePoint, SharePoint with our user migration bundle. Um, but I'll just candidly, we didn't put a lot of development effort into it until the past couple of years. Um, so previously, if you've used us to migrate uh, data over to a mailbox and you're used to all of the features there, if you've used us to migrate teams and you're used to all of the features and the depth of the data that we migrate over and your ability to configure it at the destination, um, we had not done that uh, with the user migration bundle for SharePoint. Um, and until we release this new shared document license where uh, it's a very feature rich experience in migrating data uh, over to SharePoint where um, you know permissions uh, and the ability to do metadata and um, configure the uh, destination data, uh, you're able to do those kinds of things with this new license type. So uh, that's exciting to hear that uh, it's already uh, in demand there and we'll make sure to get that information over to the partner right away. Sure, very good. Yes, I was looking at the price list and I wasn't able to find it. Uh, that's why. Okay, yep. very good. Okay, so I don't see more questions in the chat. Oh, there's one coming from our um, pre-sales engineer from the Caribbean, Ayrton. Okay. Uh, the link for the survey, it's there. Yes, so um, I'll make sure I'll send you a copy of the, the deck, Marlene, and then it, it has those links on the last uh, slide right here. Um, so all of these are real live links, so uh, you, you'll get a copy of the deck along with the recording of the presentation and you'll be able to access um, those links. Perfect, perfect, and we will share with the partners. Very good. Perfect. Absolutely. Well, uh, thanks, uh, Marlene. Thanks, uh, Marcella, for the invitation to, to present today. Thank you, partners, for, for coming out and, and listening to the presentation today. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, helpful and informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to, to reach out to me directly. You'll have my contact information as well uh, when you get these resources. So thank you and hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you, Adam. Very good session. Thank you very much. All right, take care. Bye, stay. Bye. Bye.